government facilitate the repatriation of Indian nationals, stranded abroad on compelling grounds in a phased manner, amid increasing number of coronavirus cases globally. Thousands of stranded Indians in countries like the UK, the UAE, and the US due to the coronavirus-induced travel restrictions would be brought back by special flights and the Indian missions abroad were gearing up for the massive operation. The central government is likely to operate 64 flights and three huge naval ships for this evacuation. The Indian ambassador to the UAE Pavan Kapoor on May 7 said the first two flights from the UAE to India on Thursday would take applicants from Kerala, who formed the majority of Indians who registered to fly home from here. The passenger list will be decided by the Indian missions, it said, adding that details about flights to other destinations will be announced later. A total of 200,000 expats have registered so far. The Indian government expects more than 700,000 citizens can use this opportunity. Kerala state facing the biggest challenges for this massive repatriation because they expect more than 400,000 citizens. But Kerala government takes necessary steps to handle this issue. The Honorable Chief Minister of Kerala Mr. Pinrai Vijayan and health organizations play a vital role for this. They arranging quarantine facilitates from the bottom level. Kerala already had proven their effort to fight against COVID-19. During the journey, all these passengers would have to follow the protocols, such as the health protocols, issued by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Civil Aviation. On reaching the destination, everyone would have to register on the Arogya Setu app, India's mobile application for health surveillance. Everyone would be medically screened after reaching their destination as well. It is understood that returnees would also have to pay for the quarantine facilities back home. <laughs>